in the killing of protesters in the 2011 revolution, Mubarak has also been cleared of corruption charges. Well, he led Egypt for three decades. Let's take a look back now at Hosni Mubarak's career. Hosni Mubarak was the president of Egypt for 30 years. He remained defiant right up until the final days of his rule, despite overwhelming public opposition. Mubarak was a military man who was never meant to be president. The height of his 30-year Air Force career was Egypt's victory over Israel in the Sinai Peninsula in 1973. It helped make him a national hero. President Anwar Sadat made Mubarak his deputy, and he came to power after Sadat was assassinated at a military parade in 1981. Regarded as an elder statement in the region, he was often criticized for policies which supported Western mind instability over Arab popularity. He encouraged good relations with the United States, resulting in billions of dollars in financial and military aid. For 20 years, only his name was allowed to appear on presidential ballots. That changed in 2005, but a ban on the country's biggest opposition, the Muslim Brotherhood, stayed firmly in place. But it wasn't simply a shortage of political freedom that led to his downfall. Simmering public anger over police brutality, corruption and deep economic problems boiled over into the revolution of 2011. After 18 days of protests and more than 800 killed at the hands of security, Mubarak was forced to step down on February 1, 2011. The Supreme Council of the Armed Forces quickly stepped in. He will always be remembered as a polarizing figure, but Hosni Mubarak has been spared the black mark of a murder conviction. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.